Hello, I'm Jonathan Denby, Head of Corporate Affairs at Greater Anglia, and I'm here at Thetford Station in Norfolk by our lovely station garden, tendered by our local station adopters. 20 years ago, in 2003, we launched the station adoption programme for East Anglia at what was then Anglia Railways. We believed that there was real enthusiasm across our network for making our stations attractive and proud gateways to the communities they serve, right at the heart of local life. Two decades later, at what is now the Greater Anglia Station Adoption Scheme, and it's gone from strength to strength, well beyond any of our expectations. Passengers, visitors and local people alike can see the impact of our wonderful station adopters, our much valued volunteers. It's therefore right that we celebrate their achievements and the success of this scheme, which has received wider recognition far and wide across the country, even including on BBC TV's Gardener's World programme. In this video, we hear a little more about station adoption in East Anglia and about why station adopters do what they do. We'll also showcase some of their fantastic results, such as this beautiful garden here at Thetford. We'll hear from Alan Neville, our Customer and Community Engagement Manager, at an event held early this year to thank adopters on the Wherry Lines, which are between Norwich and Lowestoft and between Norwich and Great Yarmouth, for all that they've done to improve their local stations, supporting flora, fauna and local biodiversity. We'll also hear from station adopters themselves, with a little more about why they do what they do, and again highlight more of the wonderful results of their efforts. Plus, there's a few words from Jamie Burles, our Managing Director here at Greater Anglia, from Jules Townsend, the Chief Executive at Community Rail Network, and Kate Laramie, Passenger Services Market Lead for Greater Anglia at the Department for Transport, about why the success of station adoption across Greater Anglia is so important. Most of all, this is a chance to just take a brief look at the marvellous impact of station adoption across our region, to pay tribute to everyone involved, especially the adopters themselves, and to see some shining examples of railways and communities working together. Here's to another 20 years of station adoption success across East Anglia. We're really, really proud that in this year, in our 20th year, the wonderful people I'm with today are representing this great movement which has evolved over the years. The work they do is absolutely fantastic and I know they're all very, very proud to be here. They're going to be talking to each other about what they've achieved this year, what their plans are for this year and some of them have been here for many, many years adopting and they'll be sharing some of those stories as well. Why am I a station adopter? I like to be part of a team to help the community. I'm very fond of the village and fond of the station. I guess it's, it's mainly pride. The romance. For the history of the station. For the community. Because I love gardening. We're a real community village and we all like our station. I like doing the gardening best of all, um, but anything else that needs doing, I'm happy to do. It's a fun thing, it brings people together to give something back to the community where I was brought up. For people who've got learning difficulties, it's fantastic to feel part of a community. They're basically making customers on the trains happy. They come have a look and they mooch around. They love it because it looks so nice. For me, it's all about creating a welcoming environment for the passengers here at the station. I like to make this station look uh, attractive. Wildlife and biodiversity. To help people. We all know that volunteering is becoming ever more popular and our station adopters make a real and palpable difference. And this is picked up and recognised every day, both by people who use the stations and by people who travel through them. We're so proud to have our adopters and they do the most amazing job. And to be here in one of the first events this year to celebrate our 20 years makes me so proud. Station adoption is part of the community rail movement, a grassroots movement led and inspired by local communities but closely supported by rail industry partners. 
and it's all about helping communities to get as much benefit as possible from local railways and stations and bringing people together using the railway as a focal point and a conduit. And the volunteering that happens within Station Friends Group is the epitome of this. Whether it's community gardening activities that are enhancing people's health and well-being, or biodiversity projects that are caring for nature but also connecting people with nature, or social inclusion and accessibility projects that are making sure the railway is accessible and inclusive and welcoming for everyone. So a huge thank you from us at Community Rail Network to Greater Anglia for all of the support and encouragement that they've shown to community rail and station adoption over the years. Thank you to all the partners that are supporting and involved uh, across the Anglia region. Uh, but most of all, congratulations to all of the volunteers who are giving their time, their energy, their enthusiasm and their ideas to make it happen. I'm Kate Laramie, Passenger Services Market Lead over here in the Department for Transport. And I'm delighted to be recording this message celebrating two decades of success for station adoption in East Anglia. It was great to see the original pioneering scheme launched by Anglia Railways back in 2003 and really impressive to see how it has thrived over the last 20 years as Greater Anglia have expanded and enhanced it. It's a fantastic achievement that there are now over 125 adopted stations and over 300 adopters playing their part. The DFT is always keen to see this, this kind of proactive approach from train operators such as Greater Anglia working in partnership with adopters. Across the Greater Anglia network, whether it be impressive gardens, planters, local initiatives to make stations even more attractive for passengers or projects to improve biodiversity, there's just so much to be proud of. I'm especially pleased to see the success of the innovative Wildlife Friendly Stations Accreditation Programme. I should add that I'm conscious that community rail partnerships also play such a valuable role in supporting adopters on the lines they cover. This is also so great to see. More than anything else, I want to say thank you to everyone involved in station adoption in East Anglia, to Greater Anglia, to the community rail partnerships, and most of all, to the station adopters. There's no doubt that stations across East Anglia look so much better as a result of your efforts for customers and for local communities. Well done to all of you who make it happen and here's to another 20 years and beyond. Hello, here at Greater Anglia, providing the best possible service to our passengers and the communities we serve day in, day out, is absolutely at the heart of everything we do. It's the reason why we're here. And we're acutely aware that the service we provide is integral to many people's lives right across the network. We know that a successful, thriving railway also underpins the success of the region as a whole. Our role is very much intertwined with the communities linked by our service. And we're very passionate about the contribution rail makes to wider society. Railways and communities working well together benefits absolutely everyone. And that's why we're such passionate supporters, such passionate champions of the Station Adoption Initiative, and why we're so keen to recognise and celebrate 20 years of station adoption in East Anglia. That we've got to this stage where nearly every one of our stations, and that's a lot of stations, is now adopted and that we have more than 300 wonderful station adopters involved is absolutely testament to A, the commitment of the Greater Anglia team and B, of course, the commitment and sheer dedication of the wonderful station adopters across our patch. And it really is a great example of a collaboration for the greater good as we're supported often by our community rail partnership colleagues and other rail colleagues throughout the region. But to see the tangible, real impact of the efforts of our wonderful volunteer teams across the network, 
whether it is creating fabulous gateways of our stations uh, serving our communities or whether it's supporting our pursuit of net zero and biodiversity. It really is a pleasure to behold as you travel around our network. So I wanted to say a genuine and heartfelt thank you to you all who were involved in this. Your efforts are very much appreciated, very much valued. You, especially you, and we can be rightly proud of everything you've achieved over the past few years. So here's to another 20 years of station adoption success in East Anglia. Again, finally from me, a massive well done and a massive thank you for everything you've done.